It's, hey guys, what's up? Uh, first, I'm gonna show you my cat, Jersey. Yay, she's in my room. She is currently digging her nose. Hey, say hi to my fans, Jersey. Uh, she's so cute. Actually, the skinniest cat in our house. But that's not the point. Damn it. Screwed up here. You guys know it, it's in the title. And you probably have seen it by now. Well, that's when I posted this because I shot this actually on the day the trailer came out. It was being crazy. But I'm going to tell you this. I am so excited for the Hateful Eight after seeing the teaser trailer. Why is that? Because I because th I think Westerns really have a f need another chance. I mean, Lone Ranger was an unfortunate failure, but I love Django Unchained. And that was also another Tarantino film. And that was just the, la the last... That was actually... It's been three years since he made a film. Like, directed one. And that really surprised me. For a guy... But also, actually, not that surprising. For a guy... And this actually is his eighth film. Cool title, huh? But this guy really did... This guy is really a guy who's created such an incredible legacy for filmmaking. I mean, he's known for the Kill Bill movies. Pulp Fiction. One of my favorites of all time. Probably my favorite independent film of all time. Also... Hey, Jersey. You want to Yeah, I think you guys heard her crying. She cries a lot. But anyways, I want to talk about the uh, trailer. I'm, 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 I'm not, I can't, consider myself, I can't consider, consider myself a diehard Quentin Tarantino fan, but I am becoming a bit of a fan of him. I have not watched Kill Bill, I have not watched Reservoir Dogs, any Kill Bill movies. Hate them all you want. I will watch those! And unfortunately, I've never seen any of the collaborations he's did with Robert Rodriguez. I did see Sin City, Jersey, get off that. Get off that. She's gonna go crazy. She's probably gonna attack me. I have to let her out of my other room. But one thing I want to talk about is the teaser trailer. It looks great. It looks it looks very well shot. She's going crazy. I, I mean, constantly distracted. Um, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Jersey! What are you doing? Jersey, get out of there. Get out of there. I know, guys, I'm doing this very lazily, but I'm amateur. It's late. I don't care. I want to get the... I just want to be cool with New Jersey in here. Hopefully, it can last long without me going crazy and being distracted again. It looks very well done. I mean, the, the cinematographer is Robert Richardson. Now, he he has won Oscars for Best Cinematography for JFK, The Aviator, and Hugo. Now, unfortunately, I never saw those. But he's known for... He's worked with many directors. Oliver Stone, John Sayles, Errol Morris, Quentin Tarantino, Martin Scorsese. Those are some frequent collaborators. And yeah, it's pretty interesting. The guy is 59. He and yeah, yeah I don't know, that, that, that doesn't mean anything. That's just me saying bullshit. Jersey, get off that. Jersey! Get off that. Say hi, Jersey. Say hi to my fans. Please stay away from my stuff. I have to hang those. I know, guys. I know, I know, I know, I know. Whatever. I don't care. But if you want me to be clear on something, it looks very well shot. It looks really good. You know, what else do I have to say? Yeah, I mean, he's with this guy who worked with Clancy Artino before. Worked with them in Glorious Bastards. Another film. The Kill Bill movies. Any other movies? I'm looking right now. Actually, no. Interesting. Wait, what about Jingle Unchained? Uh, oh man, you should've known that. This guy, and it looks just like the same, the cinematography just looks very similar compared to his other stuff. And I think there's no doubt that this guy is gonna get another Oscar nod for Best Cinematography again, once the film hits theaters. Now, it's coming out December 25th, 2015, in 70mm film. Then it'll get a bigger normal release on January 8th, but it'll still count as a 2015 film, because it's coming out 2015. Hold on. Want to go outside? Oh, 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 oh. Are you know or not? I know, I know. Let me get straight to it. Yeah, Samuel Jackson also delivers some pretty cool dialogue. Same for Kurt Russell. See, the thing is about Quentin Tarantino, he's a great writer of dialogue. You can't deny that. What would it be like for him if he wrote a Star Wars movie or if he wrote a script for a Star Wars movie? I don't think he'd direct one, but what about writing for a script? What about writing a script? He probably would put in he probably would put in his dialogue. Sure he'd be toned down heavily, but what about the dialogue? Hmm? 
That's just a lame suggestion. I mean, there's no way in hell he'd direct one. They probably wouldn't allow him. But, anyways, it looks great. I mean, the, the, the way the trailer was stylized is in the same way Shang on Chain was. It's pure Quinn, it's pure Tarantino. Oh, let's see. Who else do you have? Let's see. You have a famed composer doing this. If you guys don't know this composer, this is Ennio Morricone. And you may know him. Because, uh, let's see, he scored on The Untouchables. He got an Oscar not for that. He scored The Good, Bad, and the Ugly, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, which has one of the most iconic, one of the most iconic of all time. Unfortunately, guys, I've never seen that movie. I will watch it one day. I have seen Festival of Dollars. I know he also scored that. I think he scored all the Man With No Name movies. But yeah. The film looks really good. The setting, the production design, the cinematography just looks so beautiful. And being set there on a mostly snowy mountain, I think. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. It just looks really nice. But also you have some you have Samuel Jackson, Kurt Russell, Jennifer Jason Lay, Walter Walton Goggins, Damian Beecher, I believe I pronounced it down below. Tim Roth, Michael Madsen, Bruce Stern, like Jennifer Jason Lee. Comment below on that if I pronounce that wrong. There's even like, you know, people like uh, James Parks, Zoe Bell, and there's even you know, like Chan Tatum as one of the guy being in an unspecific, uns, yet unspecified role. Interesting, huh? Weird to see him, I mean, weird to see him in a Quentin Tarantino movie. Mm -hmm. The guy's been in our movies before. Hey, we never thought we'd see Leonardo DiCaprio completely disappear into a role for Django and Jane, and look how that turned out. Snub to the Oscars, you best, you bastards. <laughs> Anyways, it looks really good. I mean, there's some great dialogue scenes, especially from Samuel Jackson. There's a bit of the black humor in there that you expect from Quentin Tarantino, that you may expect. Especially if you've ever seen Pulp Fiction, which has a lot of dark humor. It's very like, guys, I'm gonna try and get this done. But, yeah. I mean, it's basically, it's stylized Quentin Tarantino, it has some, looks like it has some pretty cool characters, it looks violent, it looks beautiful, it basically looks like a pure Quentin Tarantino movie. What else do I have to say? And this is the teaser trailer that just pumps me up for it, because it just looks so good, and to be honest, you have Samuel L. Jackson, and those guys have had such a great collaboration together. I also have an Arson Jackie Brown. Guys, hate on me all you want, I will watch this one day, it's not impossible. Why not just buy them? They're well received. Why not? Anyways, I am really excited for the Hateful Eight. I, I didn't understand. I really am happy that he changed his mind and decided to direct it to make to make it into a movie rather than change make it into a novel. Because I like to see the event on screen. It looks funny. It looks violent. It might have some great dialogue, as it usually does. It looks very. It looks very well. It looks very good. And to be honest. Hopefully I could see it in a 70mm film, but I don't know if I could. It'd be the greatest opportunity, it'd be one of my favorite opportunities in the world to, to see that entire film in 70mm film. Film, not digital. I mean, who doesn't want that? Film just has that crispness to it, right? I think that's what he said, I think that's what Chris Stuckman said. And I mean, just getting in like that, and putting it in that pre-digital age, just fitting to the settings that send the Wild West. During a pre-digital age, you know that's just that's just me. Anyways, guys, it's my I always guys I'm really excited for it. And I really want to check the trailer out. I'm gonna put a link to that. The link to that is in the description below. Anyways, guys, that is my review for the. Uh, I mean, I know it started off really poorly. I don't care. I'm not gonna cut it out because you know why not? Yeah, you know, I kind of like for you to see Jersey. So cute, though she can go crazy sometimes. Of the Hateful Eight teaser trailer, comment below. What do you think about? Do have you seen the trailer? What do you think about it? Are you excited for the movie? Are you not? Are you a Quentin Tarantino fan? What's your favorite film from him? Mine will always be Pulp Fiction. Who doesn't love that? Comment below and subscribe to my channel for more videos.